Seemingly unexpected meetings with people can turn into significant relationships. Can we consciously and actively use synchronicity to connect with soul buddies all over the world? Soul buddies are the people that we meet through so-called coincidences often, the ones that we get that immediate spark, oop, I think I've known this person before, and we click. There's significance to every person that you encounter. Um, when someone looks familiar to you or uh, you see the same person several times in the same day, generally it's because you need to talk to that person. And we've grown up in a world that we're so just afraid to connect and to talk to people. And so we miss all these opportunities, all these happy accidents or synchronicities. In old ancient times, friends would uh, break apart a coin or an object and they would know about the other's mission um, or presence if those two disparate parts are put together and fit. It's a recognition of something in the other that is part of you. Sometimes you meet your soul buddies just individually one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes um, numerous soul buddies kind of come together what we call a soul group. A soul group is um, a group of like-minded individuals like us that, you know, we just all kind of click together, not necessarily one person, but a whole group where the, the group energy kind of creates an even greater synergy. You're born around um, certain members of your soul group, it would seem, but yet um, we're all over the world because because we're not just Americans or or French or Italian. We we're citizens of the world, and that's what I think having a global community um, that goes beyond just just your friends. It's it's a soul connection. It's those people that you know are supposed to be in your life that you've known them for so long and over many lifetimes. I would imagine. It's only love, seeking love, in a willing embrace. Whenever I need support, they arrive, they come, without even calling them. But the contact is through the heart. We make agreements before we even incarnate into this earth that we know it's going to be difficult, we know we're going to forget when we come in here, and it's going to be hard and traumatic. It's about finding those people that we had those contracts with, our soul group, our, our buddies, um, that we came to help each other here, and, uh, and that's, that's what's so neat about uh, connecting with your soul group. And it happens, they say, on the other way around. When I start thinking of a, of a friend, and I feel that I have to contact him or her, and I do it, always she is in trouble. Always she answers, oh, thanks for calling me. Creating more hospitality means more openness uh, for the other. It is one of the requirements in all religions to be hospitable and open to the other um, because they might be sent from the beyond. In our conscious world we make separations and distinctions. In the synchronistic experience we make connections and find that we are all united and there are no distinctions. And this creates this unity and this feeling of totality. We are meant to be here as, as one world and um, no divisions, no boundaries and, and, and this is a way to just bring us together. So for me it's really deeper than someone that you support or that they support you. To me, soul connections are long lost family. And there is a magnetic force that brings us together and makes the entire world whole peace. This is the crucial moment in the history of the world seven or eight billion people and growing. We really need to, to learn to work together. A door will open. When will we feel it? And when our hearts may come back, all that we are will come back and all the world will reveal it. <laughs> and 
And if my soulmate is out there, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Waiting on you, okay? <laughs>